left side ranging is Cabrera now coming as Anderson and interfered with no. What was that that came flying in? Oh. <laughs> I'm not so sure that that was uh, a mistake. That gentleman has been ejected but it was an ugly ugly sight. Here comes a pizza see it. <laughs> and here comes. <laughs> Some pizza. That was unnecessary. It really was uncalled for. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, man. It was Patriots Day 2007. Uh, MLB.com has an article posted right now. They did the research on this episode and the gentleman responsible for a piece of video that we still laugh about to this day. Jerry Remy and Don Orsillo haven't stopped laughing in the uh. Nesson broadcast booth uh, back then. Dan Kelly is the gentleman's name who chucked the pizza infamously at uh, Fenway Park in 2007. Again, there's a big article up on MLB.com about the episode, and Dan joins us on Hot Stove. Dan, good morning, my friend. Hey, Matt. Hey, Harold. Thanks for having me on. And so that's the first time anyone's ever referred to me as a gentleman with regards to the pizza talk. <laughs> you know, did, did you know that guy at all, Dan? No, not at all. No, it was... Um, <laughs> Yeah, ran, random event. Uh, we had been bickering for a few innings. Um, oh, you and the guy. Yeah, yeah. He was, you know, I was a bit with a big group of friends. He was too. And, you know, it was a rain delay. And, and uh, you know, people got to the game a little later and had to kill some time, if you know what I mean. And uh, some people go one direction with that. Others go in different directions. So we, we tried to calm him down a little bit and, uh, Tom was friendly Fenway, and you know the last thing he asked me for was a slice of pizza that I was divvying up to all my friends. <laughs> I just bought a whole pie and hey, uh, some pizza. <laughs> free delivery. <laughs> so uh, in the article, this is so great. So in the article, uh, we we read about the rain delay, the fact that uh, you guys tipped a few back. I'm sure by the time the game started, it's uh, feeling no pain time. But your wife. Uh, up, I understand was at the game as well and and she was she is or was a teacher and probably wasn't that amused by the uh, chain of events am I right about that yeah it's funny you should bring that up because the one thing she asked me to to not talk about is her being a teacher so oh, thank, thank you for uh, sorry about the, that <laughs> no I'm, I'm messing it's okay okay but, um, <laughs> wow yeah she was uh she was kind of a hero uh to her students uh in, in Holliston when uh when they saw the replays of of, of what had happened and, and seeing us exiting the uh, the building, so or the uh, the park. By the way, this font is the funniest thing. Dan Kelly joins the show through slice of pizza at a fan in Fenway Park. <laughs> we actually built that to put on the screen. Did you? Um, were there any words exchanged between you and the victim of the slice throw after the incident? And have you since been in contact with him? You know, our legal teams have asked us not to. Dis no, I'm just kidding. Uh, no, we, we have not. We have not They're spoken funny, since. Yeah. But, you know, he, he was a little combative at the, at the beginning, but then he just realized how funny it was, and and so did I. And you know, no no harm, no foul. And um, you know, it, 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 hey, it can we show the one clip, him. guys, where he hops up and he's actually uh, we bleeded out the words because you you see the exchange immediately. Right. Can we play that one back? So he hopped up and started screaming at you. Yeah, and I think Don Osillo actually gave him the Pepsi fan of the day uh, for that. So <laughs> were, were either were you ejected from the game? I was, yeah. There you go. And, and that... uh, of course, I of course denied it, but uh, they said it's it's on TV. You can't deny it. And uh... <laughs> what were the ramifications after this, Dan? Was there? Uh, did you get your kind of Andy Warhol 15 minutes of fame? Were you shamed? Were you banned from Fenway? A uh, little of everything there. I, I, I was not banned for the record because I was very cooperative. I gave my, you know, I showed them my license and they wrote down my details and I. You know, the, the, the gentleman that had escorted me out was, was extremely uh, polite and patient. But, um, you know, as far as uh, ramifications, uh, I, I just started a new job. Um, and I was paranoid of getting uh, a, a bad rap, you know, my first week on, on, on the job. So I definitely denied uh, as much as I could and then tried to not have my name associated with what was going on. And, you know, unfortunately, one of, one of my friends uh, 
Matt Midori had, had spilled my, my name all over the media. <laughs> and I love Matt. He's, he's a great dude. But, um, you know, he and uh, my other friends, Rich, Rich and Adam, who were with us, you know, it, it got out pretty quickly. And, and my, my God bless my poor mother. She, she was pretty so, embarrassed. Oh, I so, Dan, I'm just curious, how many text messages did you get? I mean, your phone had to have blown up. Yeah, it, it was ridiculous. And, and like I said, starting the new job, I wanted to disassociate myself with as much as I could. You know, there, there was like major pizza chains that were reaching out to seeing if I'd do like a, a, a radio or, or an ad for them. But I, I just, I literally turned my phone off for about a month. Had you had you previously uh, thrown any concession items, say at a Bruins game or a Celtics game, or was this a first time adventure? <laughs> This was a first time adventure and it was just something clicked in my mind. It was one of those things you, you wish you could take back, but it was for the moment. And, and, and like I said, he, he was asking and, and, and I delivered. Uh, I, th I think that's the best part of the whole story. He was wanting your pizza and you said, here it is, free delivery. <laughs> so so uh, let's talk a little Sox baseball. We don't want you to just be on here to talk just pizza. I kind of do, but uh, Matt does. Yeah, I, I want to ask talk. you, so. So you clearly been a Sox fan for a number of years. Who's your favorite Sox player through the years? Uh, through the years has got to be Mike Greenwell and Big Poppy. Mike Greenwell. Greenwell could rake. Yeah. Yeah, he could. 80s, 90s guy. Yeah. I like it. Yes. Yeah. I like it. What, uh, where'd you go, Dan? You all right? There we go. Yeah. Oh, we There's got a base. Oh, nice. Ball. Oh, wow. <laughs> no, no pizza on that ball. Do you still Do you still work in the job that you had just started back in 2007? Are you still at that place? You know, funny enough, I just left last summer, so I was there. I had a good 13-year run, and and of course everybody found out about it. And <laughs> yeah, I wish I had embraced it a little bit more because you know, whatever. Everybody does a stupid thing once in a while, and I wish I embraced it a little bit more in retrospect. Well, your stupid thing was pretty funny, and we have gotten uh, years of amusement out of it. Again, the story's up on MLB.com, uh, talking about a pizza throw heard around the world. Dan Kelly joining us. Flashing back to 2007, we, Harold tried to get Garrett Anderson to join us on this interview, by the way, who was in a shocked onlooker there. Okay. What, did, what did the players say? What did Garrett say? Did he have an, did he stand there? you remember him at all? Uh, I remember him, but, yeah, obviously we didn't have any interaction on the field. But, um, yeah. Because I mean, the, 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 I'm thinking the umpire, the player, obviously you're in, in exchange with the guy, the pizza guy that you threw it to, but those guys are standing there. I was just wondering what their, their reaction were like. You noticed it. Nope. Yeah, it, it all happened so quickly, and I, I, I think Garrett you know, moved back to uh, – to left field uh, pretty, pretty soon after that and <laughs> tried you to know. forget what he had. Uh, his, his eyes were burning from what he saw. You know, but, what? Uh, you know the, the, the one other thing I want to mention, though, is it, had this happened in any other market outside of Boston, I, I really doubt it, 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 it would have gained as much traction. I mean, uh, you know, Jerry Remy and, 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 and Don Osillo at the time, you know, I know he's with the Padres now, but – those two are like little schoolgirls, you know, giggling, you know, in, in the background. It, it, if this was just, you know, some random market, uh, you know, in, in Cincinnati or something, no one would ever have seen what happened. You are absolutely spot, so on. spot on correct about that. Hey, Dan, thanks for the visit with us, man. Thanks for, uh, uh, thanks for your candor. Day. We appreciate it. And uh, if it ever happens again, you know, we'll call you once more. <laughs> Hopefully you find some better content to talk about. <laughs> I don't, for me, there is no better content. You know, the irony of this, Dan, thank you. The irony of this is uh, Peter Gammons is standing by. <laughs> I mean, from the ridiculous to the sublime, and Peter's probably shaking his head saying, uh, this is, uh, he I'm is. A, a shame to all New Englanders. Peter is a upstanding member of the New England Peter's community. He's laughing. He's laughing at Peter, it. Peter, uh, sorry about I, that. I, I think it's a riot. I, I mean, love he's it. Absolutely right. I, I mean, it, one of the things too. I mean, Orsillo and Remy together. One of the things, and Matt, you know this so well. It's so important for local broadcasters to connect with a region. Yes. Yeah. And Don Orsillo connects with people as well as anybody I know. And he, he I mean, he can make you laugh about almost anything. He and Remy, you know. I mean, there are some nights when. Um, 
you know, everybody's striking out, and you got a four and a half hour game, and it's still only in the eighth inning. That maybe you need some humor. No, it, they they made it happen, and you have to. That was so cool. Yeah. Hey, Peter, keep it right there. We're gonna take a break. Come back with uh, the things Peter Gammons is most looking forward to this season next. 